Hey Earth Sign, Zoe Flowers here, back with another reading. And this one is all about the upcoming solar eclipse, the eclipse that's coming on December 4th, and what messages it's bringing for our Earth Signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Now the thing about eclipses is that it they are all about endings, okay? ending old cycles and beginning new cycles. And this particular eclipse is going to assist you with closing an 18 month cycle. So I encourage you to think back over the past 18 months and think about things that you want to end. And again, maybe this reading, I don't know, I haven't looked at the cards yet. Maybe they are going to illuminate um, what things, whoa, okay, you need to be ending. So we're not playing any games. Holy smokes, we have the devil card here. Now this is the before tarot. And I was guided to use the before tarot for the fire signs as well. And this is a deck that I really haven't used. I've had it about three years now. And I think I've only used it twice, maybe three times, but I was guided to move it tonight and it's it's given. I mean, it's, it's really, really giving. We talked about what cycles need to be ended and my goodness, we have the devil here. So the thing about the, the, um, before tarot is it's the thing that happened right before what happens in the Rider Waite tarot. Okay. So in, by the time it, it, you know, in the current tarot, the people are already bound up by the devil. All right. But with this tarot, they're not quite bound up yet. You see the male identified person is trying to get away and so is the female identified person, right? So there's still time. So if there's something that you're struggling with, right? And this is this 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 uh, card right here represents Capricorn. And so again, Capricorn is an earth sign and Capricorn can be a sign of bondage. It can be a sign of punishment. It can be a sign of masochism. And so like all of the things that the devil, that this particular image represents. So perhaps there's something you're struggling with. The devil card is also about addictions. So maybe there's some addictions that you're struggling with at this time. Wow. Wow. So the message, my creative power lies in this present moment. So again, remember, so it's not, all is not lost. I mean, all is never lost, right? But there's still some time here with this devil card. It says whether you're thinking about something happening now or something that happened in your past or something you would like to have happen in your future, you are doing the thinking now. And it is this present thought vibration that the law of attraction is responding to. Therefore, your power to create is now. So this, so, so ruminating, right? Again, we said this was a card of addiction. So perhaps your addiction is, you know, ruminating on the past, worrying about the future, right? Well, nothing is being created. Nothing is being created in this time, okay? Nothing is being created while you're worrying, right? All it's doing is it's binding you up in ways that you don't want to be bound, right? So the goal is to get in the present moment. I love this because the whale is one of my personal animales and the whale is the librarian. The whale is the, um, the whale holds all of the knowledge of you know, it could be said that the whale is the gateway to the Akashic records, okay? Because again, the whale holds sacred knowledge. And so the instruction here would be in a way to a way to loosen, you know, the things that are binding you is to dive deeply into spiritual knowledge. Okay? I love this. And this is wow. Then we have the owl here. This is again, this is a, 
this is one of my other animales here. So this is really, really interesting to me. So one of the things about the owl, right? We know the owl can see things that others cannot see. It sees best at night. So if there's something happening in the unseen, like you ruminating in the mind, this is a reminder that the unseen is more powerful than the seen, okay? So you are wasting some time, again, ruminating and worrying. And then we have chop wood. So this to me always feels like a very earth sign. I do have um, a Capricorn rising. I don't know if I said that a Capricorn ascendant. And this feels very Capricornian to me. It feels very earth sign to me, chop wood. It's just like, just do the work, right? Just, just get about the business of creating the things you want in real time, okay? Ruminating is not helping anyone. Now this also makes me feel like there may be other influences, especially with this owl here. This may this is making me feel like there needs to be some cleansing, some um spiritual cleansing because this is making me feel like there are some things happening in the unseen. So people may be throwing negative energy in your space their thoughts, their ideas, and then before you know it, their thoughts become your thoughts, right? Their frustrations become your frustration. And so this is my color therapy card. And so what I would say is getting yourself some red, especially since we have red here, we have red in here, right? We've got We've got red in here. We've got red here, obviously. We've got red in the owl as well. And so I would wear red to remind you to take action, to remind you to stay in the present moment. And then for a crystal, we have cat's eye, agility, intuition, and protection. Evoking the bright eyes of a cat, cat's eye is used as a talisman. This is, I couldn't make this stuff up. Cat's eye is used to ward off the evil eye or unforeseen danger. Remember we talked about things happening in the unseen. It increase it increases agility, allowing you to fly beneath the radar of your enemies and progress ahead of your competitors. And we have the whale here, right? So it's like diving deep underneath, going to the depths, blanketing yourself in spiritual protection and spiritual knowledge. Today, not tomorrow. Cat's eye enhances night vision. Holy crap. Giving you the ability to see through the shadows in the higher definition and access heightened levels of intuition by opening the crown chakra. Cat's eye is regenerative, helping you to regain what was once lost and it resonates with Leo and the sign of Venus. So there you have it, earth signs. My goodness. So many twists and turns. How very, very exciting. I hope that you enjoyed this reading and I will see you next time. Bye.